And what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, we just wanted to sit down and, and have a little chit chat with you guys. Hello again. <laughs> uh, we've kind of over the past couple of days gone through uh, some feels. Yeah, uh, emotions. we've definitely gone through some emotions and some, some thoughts that we've kind of been sitting on that we're now putting into to effect and we just wanted to update you guys on what's going on on our end of the world. Um, so since we have moved out here, since the start of the pandemic, uh, we locked down for the first two months. I think it was like 55, 56 days or something like that. Yeah, we were really uh, very serious about it and you know, we were doing what we had to do. Needed to do at the beginning of the pandemic. <laughs> and then uh, come, I think it was April or May or something like that, we drove out here. Uh, we did a round trip as safely and socially distanced Which I, as possible. I do feel like we were safe. Yeah. Uh, um, so we drove from California to Nashville and then Nashville to back to California. And then uh, after that, we flew out here. Just Nancy and I flew out here. We did uh, a round trip out here. Which because driving was, trying to weigh out driving was still like so much. You still have to stop at hotels and you still have to do those things. And it was just the two of us that it was like, it's so much faster to just hop on a plane. And at that time people still weren't really traveling. So our plane was really empty. It was pretty damn empty. Yeah, when we came to get the keys to this place. And then from there, uh, uh, we've had a few little trips. Uh, we've gone to Asheville for your birthday. We went to Jacksonville for uh, AEW, we went to Gatlinburg, uh, we've had people over. We had 32 days of like seven or eight different people uh, flying in. Which we were nervous <clears throat> about the whole entire time. It just, it, it was it was great to have people out and spend that time, especially after doing four months of quarantining or whatever Moving across this, the country without seeing all the people that we love. Without being able to say goodbye and all that stuff. Like, like it, that was really, really hard. So that's kind of where I was like justifying people coming to visit. I was like, I haven't seen anybody and I miss my people. And we're in this big, beautiful house that we don't get to share with literally anybody because it's just us and we know nobody but Bobby here, yeah. so it's like. <clears throat> so it, we got to have uh, quite a bit of fun. Like we ended up uh, spending 32 days having people in and out and in and out and in and out. And uh, we had a great time showing off the house and being able to experience. And then uh, Thanksgiving, we had Heather, Steve and Ashley, Logan out here. Right, but then at this point, like, I mean, before leading up before Thanksgiving, like cases here weren't that high. Yeah. Like it wasn't like, it was back in California or New York. Or so ultimately, like we decided what two months ago, I think it was, we were going to get flights to go back home for Christmas mm -hmm. uh, to go surprise my family and go surprise people and just go spend at least like a Christmas Eve or a Christmas with with the family. And uh, it's kind of been weighing on us. Then California just went into another lockdown. Uh, three week lockdown to take them through the remainder of December into the new year. Yeah, we didn't feel safe going home when they got to a certain point of like, okay, we have been a little reckless. We went and traveled. Then we were like, okay, we're gonna lock down. Like, cool, we're gonna quarantine. We're gonna get tested. We're gonna stay in our house for 18. I think we chose like 18 days or something is how long we were gonna quarantine for before we got on a plane to go home. But then we started thinking about like, we're getting on a plane to go home. Like I can quarantine all I want, but the minute I get on a plane and touch something, I could have COVID and take it to your entire family. Yeah. And I was weighing heavy on that. I was crying. I was having a hard time trying to figure out where we stood yeah. on on everything. So I was crying. It was weighing very heavy on on me, thinking that we could be the people that bring it to anybody. Yeah. And then. And my grandmother's really high risk, and going to see her, it, it's just it's. A selfish decision so, because it's what we want to do. Um, then they had reached out to us, the people that did know we were going to surprise, and we all had a conversation about like none of us feel comfortable and that we should not be going. Um, so we are canceling. We're our canceling our trip back to California. Trip. Um, I had a friend come and visit. I felt like it was reckless for me to have anybody come visit. Um, and it's been weighing heavy on on me the last few days with how bad things are getting. I had one of my closest friends got COVID, um, and I think that one hit me really deep because I've known people of people that have gotten it. 
Or, it hasn't gotten this close though. And this one was really, really close. Like she was here visiting, not any time around her COVID diagnosis, but she had been here from California. And she, like these, so it sent me kind of into a downward spiral to where I was like, I had a friend here visiting and I'm like, I don't want to go downtown. I don't want to do anything. And I'm sorry that you're here visiting, but like, I don't feel comfortable going anywhere. Yeah. Um, and I think that's really when I started realizing that I can't, I, I'm being so reckless and hypocritical and guilty and I was feeling all these things that now we've both decided that we are uh, canceling any trips we have. Um, anybody, We're canceling all future plans. All future plans. Anybody coming to visit. Um, no no going out. Sticking to like what we did in the very beginning. It's until... just it's gotten to a point where this week uh, as, as you guys have unless you've been living under a rock this week uh, the vaccines are rolling out which is a whole different story but uh, I feel as if we are at least seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Could it take a month? Could it take six months? Could it take a year for us to be comfortable again? Potentially, sure. Yeah. Like, we'll see how this goes. But I feel like like we're... Uh, I feel like we got to have to... a little fun. Yes. And, and... I'm, we are very lucky and blessed. And I do think that... Um, with us going out, we were very safe. We do carry hand sanitizer. We do wear gloves when we go as to safe the gas as you station. Can be. We do wear a mask, like which is like not saying that that's what kept us from getting it while we were out, because we also didn't put ourselves in very heavy, heavy populated. But situation. there have been times, uh, but where we've felt uncomfortable. And I feel uh, lucky and thankful that we have not had to deal with any of this. And I would like to not have to deal with any of this and if we have to shut down and spend time together and spend Christmas in our house for the first time away from everybody we love then that's what we are gonna do to be safe yeah and to keep the people that we love safe so I've gotten questions and comments and stuff on this channel uh, people going well that's how you get COVID and this is and you're not wrong and and I, I couldn't argue with anybody uh, it's just we Moving from California where everything was so locked down and there was no indoor dining and there's no music and there's no this and no that, you can't leave your house comfortably, to then coming out here where Tennessee is a completely different world, everything's pretty much open and it kind of felt like real life when we were here. And it I think really, we, did, we really got consumed in that. I think we, we started feeling very comfortable with just going out I, and I going to see things and having people over and it just, it felt normal and going to our local gas stations and no one's wearing a mask and liquor stores and stuff like that like like it felt normal but we were always like had this weird anxiety we always built wore up our masks and too. we were very concerned so it was one of those like oh we can do things but then like we'd start feeling anxiety and uncomfortable and then we, like i feel like it just took a, a string of events to happen to finally make us go what the hell are we doing what are we doing so uh cases I mean around the country are, are spiking and it's just you know I don't want to be a statistic I don't want to know if my body can fight this and sure it has a 97% or 99% or whatever survival rate uh, it's just not something that I want to have to I go don't, through. I don't want to go through being sick I don't want to have to go through calling somebody and being like hey I have COVID you got to go get tested hopefully yeah. you don't have it either and that I gave it to you like it's just so much uncertainty and like you could be the safest person and make touch one door handle and then you're done. No, that, that, but like, yep. it's just living through this weird, weird, weird world. So we were supposed to be having a, a few friends in the month of December coming out. Uh, we have now backpedaled and changed those plans. Uh, we were... Which canceling on people is hard. I feel like it's one of those, like, I had people coming, like, scheduled to come to my house and mostly it's me. I was definitely the one that really got consumed in inviting people over. Um... That then telling them like, oh, sorry, we don't feel comfortable anymore with anybody coming over. And I feel like it's like some people will take it personally or like, oh, you just had somebody else over. But then now you don't want me to come over. And now it's like I need to shut down completely. It's not picking and choosing people that I feel comfortable being around or not. It's like we're going into it's, full. It's in general. And we know we to anybody regret the decisions that we've already made. And I regret having to cancel on people after making plans. Yeah, but we just don't get to enjoy. It's very nerve wracking having people over. So um, 
it's just kind of like our, our little update of what's going on. So no more no more traveling for the foreseeable future. Uh, we're still going to be pumping out videos, and we're still going to be sitting down with you guys. And there's a lot of things that that we're still we going to be doing. Stuff that we're still working on on the house and stuff. So yeah. uh, so we still have a lot of stuff, but it's going to be it's going to be a little bit different. We just did uh, a couple different road trip videos that that we've put up for you guys, and uh, thank you so much for watching those and hanging with us. But we're gonna have a quarantine Christmas. We're gonna have a little quarantine Christmas and New Year. Uh, New Year's is our anniversary and we've gone from spending our anniversary our first one together then we went to San Diego then we went to Las Vegas and now we're gonna be like, like we, we literally went, did all in these this big year things. in Vegas with hundreds of thousands of people yeah and now here we are it's gonna be me you and James yeah and Nashi. so it's gonna be uh you know it's gonna be a different year just like everyone else is experiencing but uh you know we just put ourselves at risk a few too many times and uh now looking back at it I don't feel like we were playing it smart uh so for any of you that watch the videos and like these guys are fucking crazy you're completely right. Um, stupid? Sure, I'll even go with that one. Like, uh, there, there were a few situations where we just... Definitely, but we're all also living through this time where we want to connect with people and experience things and none of us are accustomed to just being completely blocked from doing any of that. So of course I'm like, I know that we're not the only people that have become reckless and then realized and backpedaled. And yeah. then there's some people who are going full speed ahead. They don't care at all and they want to go out and do stuff and that's cool but like I don't want to be in your bubble yeah. right now exactly so we are uh, I hope that doesn't sound bitchy. no but I mean we're, <laughs> we're returning back to, to lockdown and uh, yeah that's that's that I hope you guys have, have made it through this uh, this 2020 year that we have dealt with uh, healthy I hope you guys have been safe Nobody's actually commented saying like, oh my God, I got it or anything like that. So right. that's a very good sign. I hope all of you guys are watching uh, from the comforts of your home. I know Nancy's got to go to work. I'm sure you guys have to go to work as well. Uh, and that's that's pretty much the only outer experience that uh, we've decided is is worth. I mean, you, you got to work. So uh, going out to go to and work, my work is, is very be fulfilling. Just We're working with small businesses and uh here in Tennessee and helping them they we put them on the news so that they can get people to come into the restaurants like take out restaurants and stuff like that like keeping it COVID safe and how their small businesses have had to they adapt suffering. to everything and um, so I'm working hand in hand doing that so it's kind of fulfilling as well yeah it also gives you that that self of uh, fulfillment in yeah. there during and such of course a I feel like time. when you're working with the news you're automatically you have to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, they have exactly. standards they have to stay up to. So hopefully you guys have been doing well. Thank you so much for, for tuning into this video. Thank you guys for hanging out with us during this entire pandemic. You guys have helped us on so many occasions get through some very lonely and very sad days. And I hope us posting videos uh, have given you guys 10 to 15 minutes worth of, uh, I'm going to say entertainment, but just worth of uh, getting yourselves out of real life and just hang with us for a few minutes uh which is also real life yeah <laughs> so yeah that's just kind of uh, our current update we are we're we're locking back down and uh it's not something that we're excited for but it's something that i feel we should have never uh, come out of yeah lost our or in way a way in. of just being like yes okay maybe but then no it's, it's but it's, i've still had a good time it's so the like, most hypocritical thing to be like well maybe we would have gone out to a restaurant once or time but that one time you go to a restaurant you could get it so that's the problem is like it's this constant battle in your brain of what's okay and what's not and what's this if i did this if i did like it is literally two people in your brain fighting with each other like an angel and a devil on your shoulder Absolutely. literally telling you yeah. like you shouldn't do this, but like I just, I just, uh, just, just one wanna, time. Yeah, I just want. But then that one time could be the time that I want one draft beer and one song. Like that's all I want, and then like that could be it. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's really it's tough. Hard. We're all trying to navigate this together. We're all just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, it's been just, my favorite word lately. What navigating through? Like we're all just trying to navigate this uncertain uncharted time we're territory, in. as as they say. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. Click and play on this one. I know it wasn't a, a big old fucking adventure, but that's just real life, us really getting our, our feelings off. And uh, and we've, uh, this is pretty much kind of what we've done throughout the, there's been a lot of sitting and talking during these pandemic videos. But yeah, well, you know, that's 
<laughs> it's like we're having conversations with you guys and you guys are in the comments. We just have to talk wait for back you to guys us. Yeah. <laughs> we're just having a, you know. So, yeah. Uh, thanks again, guys. Hopefully you guys are safe. Hopefully everything's going well on your guys' end. And uh, more videos to come. Uh, we're almost up to... Uh, we're getting damn near 6,000 subscribers on this channel. Really? Watching these numbers grow. Thank you guys so much. Like that, that's really cool. So uh, maybe we'll have to throw the 6,000 subscriber party. Maybe we'll do like a little Zoom call or something where we just we could just randomly have people fucking that would be fun come in or whatever. But uh, yeah, um, I guess that's it. We'll All see right. you guys on the next one. Stay Peace. Safe.